Hey, what's going on everybody? Got an exciting day here going with my marine project. Um, <clears throat> I do have a do-it-yourself algae scrubber. It is a vertical waterfall at this point in time. And it is uh, giving me some green hair algae. However, because I'm using CFLs and it's so close to the water, A, it makes me nervous. And uh, B, it's giving me some some heat problems, especially this time of year in Chicago when you don't want to kick on the AC just yet and uh, you get that sporadic 80 degree day. Uh, it really heats up my system and so I'm getting some heat problems. So I'm going to be changing that all to uh, uh, upflow style uh, with using LEDs. Not only that, is look what I got <clears throat> in the mail today. I got a Jibao. Wave Maker WB25. I'll do an unboxing and product review of that as well. So first we're going to do the first video. So two videos for you all today. First video is going to be on the algae scrubber. Now it makes me nervous because this is producing good algae. So, and it's doing some good with nutrient export and keeping algae out of my main display. So that makes me nervous about switching it over here. But the heat is like an issue. I mean, it's getting up to 83 degrees in the tank, so I gotta take care of this before I cook my fish or electrocute them. So let's take care of that first. A basic and quick overview of the algae scrubber I built. It's basically a do-it-yourself version of Santa Monica Filtration's Upflow Algae Scrubber. Basically what I did is I got a couple of these deli trays. They were to-go containers actually from a Chinese restaurant down the street from me. Um, but they suited my needs. They're all black and uh, similar to looking to what uh, they're using at Santa Monica Filtration. Uh, so on the one side, you put your screen, nice roughed up screen. Santa Monica Filtration has stuff called Green Grabber and I couldn't figure out what that was so I'm just going to go with a with a roughed up uh, screen like a typical algae scrubber. Uh, I got that siliconed in place. One thing that was the most difficult part of the build was my airline tubing here. I had real trouble getting it to the stick to this plastic. Um, it would not stick at all, not with any type of adhesive. It didn't stick until I finally just took some sandpaper and I roughed up the vinyl tubing of the airline and then I also roughed up the surface of this tray. Uh, at the top there you can see it's got the air outlet that'll let the air out, the air flow out. On both sides I've got some holes poked through for uh, water that'll outlet the water and then the holes down at the bottom will inlet the water. Let's see if I can get this. As you can see I just took a, an X-Acto blade I split the airline straight down the center and then just made some little slits here so I can poke these in and out and that'll give me the airflow up the screen. On the other side I've got four LEDs. They're all deep red LEDs. Uh, I've got them sitting on some heat sinks I actually recycled from an old computer. So I just hope they'll work. I've got those mounted on a uh, on some aluminum diamond plate. I just spray painted it all black but each one of those are on their own little heat sink. They're deep red 660 NA so uh, those are also similar to what he's using on his upflow uh, algae scrubber. Now the thing was is I got a driver and it was only ten dollars very economical driver and that's it behind the electrical tape right down there. The only problem was is that the driver will drive 5 to 12 LEDs and this as you can see is only 4 so what I did which is you know more economical but not too convenient is I also got some LEDs to uh, light my sump area I got those mounted on some on an aluminum heat sink as well so basically these two are going to be connected is that ideal? Not exactly, but uh, it saved me about 30 bucks doing it this way. You know, the that driver was only 10 and it was $10 to get a driver that'll drive two. 
so it would have been 20 bucks to drive these two and then another 10 bucks to drive just that so basically what I decided to do was just hook all these LEDs together um, <clears throat> that'll light the sump area this will light the the screen and um, and that's the way I went just in order to save some money uh, I put some magnets on the back of these so this will go on the inside glass obviously and this will be on the outside glass so we'll see if it works I know that this is working because I've been testing it just to make sure I've got enough airflow you want a air pump that's going to pump at least one liter of air per minute so that's most air pumps I got a big enough pump to do that so I'm going to take apart uh, the setup I have now and we'll get this installed just a quick look at my vertical uh, waterfall style algae scrubber this is after two days of growth so I finally and I've only had it six weeks so I finally got it to start growing green and now I'm changing it all up before I even see any real nutrient export or anything so I'm kind of nervous about that because look at look at all that green how well the scrubber started working all right so she's in after a tremendous amount of hassle I was really having a hassle with the LEDs uh, when I was installing it kept coming off the the solder kept giving way I don't know why probably because I bought the dollar 85 LEDs but uh, just to give you a shot I definitely traded heat for noise the vertical waterfall was much much quieter operationally um, the pump for the waterfall too was more quiet than the, the air pump I'm using right now but that's one I had laying around so I probably should go out spend a little extra money on a whisper quiet because as you can hear when it's down below the water level it's pretty loud so let's just take a peek here as you can see we got airflow coming up across the whole screen is what you want I don't want to blind you with the LEDs but I'm getting some pretty good flow the magnets are a little weak luckily I had a few extra because it holds it together but it'll eventually slip down so the LEDs underneath be enough to light up that chato now if the algae scrubber starts working that chato shouldn't survive but it's enough LED to light this sump area and it's actually not as bright more directionally down because I have the optics on so that should take care of my heat issue and there she is uh, my do-it-yourself algae scrubber based on the Santa Monica filtration hog 1x design I seeded the screen in there with some of the algae from my old screen hopefully it works I don't know if it will or not but uh, hopefully it does because I was starting to get some really good green algae on the other one and I don't want to go through another six week break-in period with this screen so we shall see and I will keep you updated on this but I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out was a pain in the ass but I eventually got it going and uh, I'll just have to deal with the noise luckily it's in my office and the noise doesn't bother me that much but it does bother my wife and kids so I'll think of something maybe poke another two or three or four air holes in the top might quiet it down a little bit but comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this build.